Interstellar message sent to nearby exoplanet. Hello, is anyone out there? GJ273, a red dwarf, also called Leuton Star, is galactically right around the corner at a mere 12.36 light years away from Mother Earth. Scientists and artists beamed a message to the GJ273 system last month to see if any aliens are listening. The message will only take about a dozen years to arrive. The radio signal included music and math lessons from us to them and was designed for aliens to respond. Some critics, like Stephen Hawking, worry that actively trying to contact E.T. could alert advanced hostile or resource-seeking aliens, which could have dire consequences for our planet. Don't worry, we'll destroy ourselves first before any dirty alien will get a chance to. But on the bright side, if in 25 years we hear an actual response, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Blast off. New Horizons is two years away from its next target. NASA's New Horizons mission is just two years away from its next target, a small object in the Kuiper Belt that orbits the Sun nearly a billion miles beyond Pluto. New Horizons is currently speeding at a velocity of 14.32 kilometers per second relative to the Sun. It's almost halfway between Pluto and its next target, a Kuiper Belt object called 2014 MU69. 2014 MU69 measures between 25 kilometers to 45 kilometers across. Scientists are not sure how bright the object is. Its albedo reading, the measure of how much light reflects from a surface, may be 0.04 or slightly brighter. By comparison, Pluto has an albedo reading between 0.49 to 0.66, while Mars has a reading of 0.15. New Horizons is scheduled to fly by 24MU69 on January 1st, 2019, making it the most distant object humans have ever explored. New Horizons was designed to fly well past Pluto. It carries extra hydrazine fuel for a Kuiper Belt object flyby, and its communication system is designed to work far beyond Pluto. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft to begin Pluto mission. Nine years and three billion miles after it was launched into space, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has awoken from hibernation and is preparing to travel to Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. The New Horizons spacecraft, which weighs about half a ton, is about the size and shape of a baby grand piano. Its destination is Pluto and the asteroid-rich Kuiper Belt. The mission's objectives include mapping the surface composition and temperatures of Pluto and Kuiper Belt objects, as well as their geology and morphology. New Horizons has gone into hibernation 18 times for a total of 1,873 days since its launch in January 2006 in order to minimize wear and tear on its components and reduce the risk of system failures. It was woken by a preset alarm on Saturday. It is expected to make its closest approach to Pluto on July 14, 2015. It will then explore the Kuiper Belt from 2016 to 2020. New Horizons is expected to be 100 astronomical units away from the Sun by 2038, and will be able to send data about the outer heliosphere if it is still operational by then. Next target chosen for NASA's New Horizons mission. NASA has selected a potential destination for the New Horizons mission, following its historic flyby of Pluto. The potential destination for NASA's New Horizons spacecraft it's a comet-like object in the Kuiper Belt, known as 2014 MU69, about a billion miles away from Pluto. The object measures about 45 kilometers across, which is more than 10 times larger than typical comets. New Horizons has enough extra hydrazine fuel for a flyby to a Kuiper Belt object. Its communication system can also work from far beyond Pluto. If the plan is approved, the spacecraft would be expected to reach 2014 MU69 on January 1st, 2019. The proposed mission will be evaluated independently before receiving official approval. Pluto may be home to ice spewing volcanoes. A probe has found evidence of cryovolcanoes on Pluto's surface, suggesting the dwarf planet may not be as inactive as scientists originally thought. When NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto on July 14th, it scanned the planet's surface and has slowly been transmitting data back to Earth. The latest images show what appear to be two ice mountains, each with a depression on top, near the bottom of the planet's heart-shaped plane. 
The volcanoes informally called Wright Mons and Picard Mons are about 100 miles across and 2 and 3.5 miles high respectively. Unlike Earth volcanoes that eject lava, the structures on Pluto would likely release an icy slush containing nitrogen, ammonia and methane. Geological activity on the planet's surface indicates an internal heat source, possibly radioactive elements in its core. With only 20% of New Horizons data downlinked to Earth, scientists need to wait for the remaining pictures and data from the July encounter to confirm cryovolcanism on the dwarf planet.